Okay, so it's race day, and uh, I'm gonna start this off in the Amato's garage. So you can see behind me, obviously, this race car is nowhere near track ready right now. Um, yeah, so this car in that last race got so much damage that we have to take it a little extra time to fix the car, and we're not gonna be able to race this weekend with this car. However, the Belks, Shane and Wayne Belk, uh, graciously offered me to drive their car, and uh, I'm really appreciative of that. It's just beyond, beyond generosity at this point. Um, I didn't expect anything when I came out here, and everybody's been above and beyond my expectations when it comes to that. So huge shout out to Belk Blast and uh, Shane and Wayne uh, Belk to uh, get me in that car. So I'm going to go race that tonight, and uh, we're going a couple hours away. So um, we loaded the cars up yesterday. They loaded up with a forklift. This is the first trailer I've ever seen that you have to assemble as you go. So now, we are going to head out to this track. I gotta grab my GoPro mount off this car, and uh, we're loading up our cooler, and then we head out. So the track we're going to is called uh, Horsham. It's Blue Ribbon Raceway, and uh, that's in a place called Horsham, which is about four hours away. I've heard that this track is a bit uh, different than the one I was racing at. It's about the same size, but it's flat compared to Redline Raceway, which is where I last raced at. And uh, we'll see how this place is once we get out there. Raceway. We made it. It's like we're in uh, Illinois. It's super flat all around, but uh, unloaded the, the car. First time I'm ever going to be racing with a two-car team. And uh, excited to see the track and stuff. Um, but yeah, here we are. It's a circle. Uh, 
uh, ready to get out there. Here's the car right behind me, and uh, yeah, we just got back in from them clearing the pits. So in Australia, they make everybody leave the pits, and then you all have to come back through and show your wristband, even though you have to show your wristband when you first come in. So um, that's just something a little extra they do. But uh, I'm excited to give this track a shot. It's pretty narrow and uh, pretty flat, so we'll see if we can get some two-wide racing, but I don't know. It's, uh, it looks tough. But um, this is gonna be more horsepower than I've ever driven before. And I think it's like 780 Mopar, Mopar power. So we're gonna give that a, a, a shot. I don't know, it's, uh, this has all been crazy to me. So yeah, um, I'm at a loss for words, you know? It's like, they've been, I've been, I'm so grateful for this opportunity. Wayne Belk, really top tier guy. And uh, Shane also for letting me drive his machine. So I'm gonna go put it all on the line, do some hot laps, see what it's like drive the car, see how it is after our changes, and then we go. Get ready for the heat race, starting on the pole. What happened next year kind of sucked. The GoPro got packed with mud, and uh, the spool stripped because an axle was too short, and I spun out because of that. So, uh, yeah, here it is. stripped the, the end of the pinion a little bit but we think the axles are too short so we just put longer axles in and hopefully uh, they've got enough bite to keep it going through the feature um, we just spent all this time working on the car so I wasn't able to talk to you after it but yeah uh, went out led a couple of laps but then the car started to push out a little bit and uh, I don't know how much of the car was driving odd because of the, the axle shaking around in there or doing something weird to the, the drive of the car but we um, took care of that, spun out, and then it just wouldn't drive after I spun out, so. But now, it's fixed. We're gonna go out and start from the back, which is sixth, and see if we can do something with it. Um, but I'm hopeful.
preface this next part by saying uh, I'm gonna look a bit dejected here and uh, probably the main reason that the car wasn't doing what I wanted it to do is my fault I made some changes to the car before we even got to the track and we also discovered some things later that weren't particularly right on the car and it was nobody's fault just uh, probably would have need to have gone over it with a more fine tooth comb before heading out on the feature, but that's nobody's fault really. So, uh, you know, if I look dejected, it's not anybody's fault other than mine. All right, just finished up with the feature and uh, it was a very short feature, 15 laps. The car was very imbalanced. It felt tight and loose at the same time. And uh, the right front, I think is the main problem the uh, the right front kind of it, it feels like it wants to turn but then it it kind of bounces up and down and makes the car go into a dead push or knocks the car around and that's the track was really rough nothing like anything I've ever raced on because the consistency of the track felt like it should have grip but then it just didn't and uh, it, it's like I guess they said it's like soap so it's soft but slippery at the same time so just something I've never never really experienced before. Um, but yeah, the axle held up, the pinion held up, and uh, I guess we're gonna load up and head home. Um, finish sixth, uh, last, <laughs> of course. And um, 
just trying to get comfortable with the cart. It has so much power and it feels so good to open up the power down the end of the straightaway. But I just wasn't comfortable with how the car felt in the corner to be able to navigate it back to the straightaway the way I wanted to. And um, I feel like there's a lot of work to be done, but I mean, we learned a lot. I don't know if I like the way the right front is set up. We That's the one thing I changed with the car and um, I didn't like it. So, <clears throat> but now we learned what we didn't like. So I'm thankful we got the car back together and I was able to do some laps and feel the car out. But you know, it wasn't great. Not the finish I was looking for, but what are you gonna do? So anywho, start last, end up last. Only 15 laps, not enough time to pass anybody, but also not enough time to even feel comfortable with the car. So, all right, well, I guess now on to the next race. Can't get moving around here though. <coughs> Can't get moving. I'm going over that corner over there. This corner you can see, it's not bad, but that corner over there, you got to be a little bit sharper on that one, I think. Well, we'll go over and have a look. How about that?